guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Wonder Egg Priority. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Something tells me it's Rika's turn. Yep. Oh. That girl with the butterfly head coming soon or some shit. Oh! Yeah, she coming down. Mm -hmm. Flying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you a dragonfly. Of course. Oh, how are you supposed to defeat her then? Hell no! What the fuck? What the fuck last week and what the fuck this week? I wouldn't even go in there. Hmm? Mm. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> uh, I am antsy and this show makes me too damn antsy. Like, God, who starts like that? I mean, okay, I love the fact that they started it in Rika, Rika's POV and saying, like, oh, hey, yeah, you did it. You accomplished your goal. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill this thing like we did last week with Momo. Rika going to be hella depressed today, too? We only got one episode left. I don't know what the fuck you're doing in this show. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Uh, I've already become attached to these four. And the fact that now, like, out of the four, two are now... <sighs> huh. I don't, I don't like this. I'm scared. I am so scared. Like, this... Oh, god... So what's inside the house? Hmm? 
you about to find like the true truth or some shit today? And what are you for the new four warriors idols? So confused. Hmm? There's a person's face scratched out. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all not gonna make me fall in love with this dude. Mm -mm, no, no. Neither. Never mind. I'm gonna take back what I just said. Too late. But the question is, who were you watched by the people who you sold, like, sold your research to? I mean, because that's a little fucked up. Mm. Looks like it was a success. Oh. Hmm. Her eyes are pretty. That's very nice. Aww. She kind of looks like Futaba. Aww. But of course, something happened to her. Where'd you go? <laughs> mm, 
accepted her more as a human. Because she literally looks so much like a fucking human that I ain't even funny. I don't know about her. <laughs> but. <laughs> of course. So you both fell for her. She's so cute. And then we got still the Miss Fitter and didn't like that, so she probably killed her, right? You say that, but, you know... Your facial expressions, your body expressions, yeah. completely different. <laughs> Somebody about to get your baby into this episode. And there's her friends. The fucking dragonfly, the butterfly, <laughs> probably a ladybug. You didn't have time for her. She killed herself. Oh, nope. Food didn't about to kill her. She about to do manslaughter. Oh!
She's been there ever since, hasn't she? Well, at least she made it through. That's good. Oh, she's so precious. So the question is, what happened to her? Yeah. I mean, because no offense, you were a third feeling before Fududu came in and was like, yeet! <laughs> Time out. You're still a kid. Fudu? Do? <laughs> no, because you said no to her. And also, Fururu is inside of her. Like a fucking virus. This hoe's still alive. So then you also sit here controlling your friends and wanting to have the other girls die too? Oh, you shouldn't have done that.
And now here we are now. Mm -hmm. God, that's fucked up. That is so fucked up. That one little girl would do all this shit. She might be on my favorite list of twisted characters. I don't know. Because, um, bitch. Like, you know, I thought Best Girl Junko and Ashima was bad. You know, I thought Doctor from Akurama Drive was bad. But this child, this android AI child, like, mm -mm, you tell me she, because she the fucking reason why. What the fuck? The power and the temptation she has over all these fucking girls. Oh my god. And the fact that she, out of the four now, she's already gotten two. Already going these certain ways. And I feel like, because now it's only really up to Nadu and I. We only got one episode left. One episode. The, oh god, don't. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pray now, please. Please don't give us a BS ending next week. Don't give me an ending where I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with it. And then a couple of weeks later, I'm like, I'm not okay with that ending. Because uh, I I don't like it when some shows do that. Because it's like, yeah, oh, hey, here's an ending. You just have to accept that ish. But, okay. The, the ish that she did, I'm thinking... Not only did she kill, I mean, okay, because you know, she technically, she killed them both. She killed both the mom and, and, and Himari, but I thought she was going to kill them at the same time. Yes, taking something that isn't plugged in and throwing it into the water, yes, that's electricity. And I'm like, you mean we gonna fucking die from that? But seeing the baby there, I'm thinking, okay, this child just got ahead and went and did two for one. This girl just did fucking manslaughter and just killed both of them. And so she's like, oh, look, now there's no one else in my way. We can be a family again. Because at the beginning, it was the two, our, our two male leads, then Fudidu, and then, you know, a girl comes in and, you know, both guys fall in love with her. But in the end, she only chooses one because, you know, she can't have both. She got to choose just one. Um, she chooses the one. One is, you know, happy for them, but then inside, and you can see by his facial expressions and everything, and also his body language is that he also regrets the fact that he didn't pursue her and want her. Yes, both wanted her at the same time, but yes, at the same time, she can only choose one. It's like, it, it was a love triangle in a way, but with Furudu, you know, she's like, okay, well, yeah, they're together, but you still have me and such. But then she felt jealous. And you could feel it not only from her. Every single time when she was like. I'm not going to look at that the same freaking way again. I'm sorry. But every time when she looked at me. She was like oh you're lying. And then she's like yeah I want some friends. Her friends. The 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 bugs. <laughs> the bug schoolgirl gang. They're coming up here like I don't know what in everybody's business. And this. Um, and that she has those are her other friends. And then eventually killing the mom like are you serious like that's when you know she's gone too far too deep but because of the fact is both were currently busy in their own thing one is married and having a baby on its way and the other one's still like deep in their research of course they're not gonna have time for her so she's gonna feel like number one jealous she's gonna feel abandonment issues just as much as anything else it's almost like how 
when <laughs> I hate to compare this, like, and it's with family situations where, you know, you have a favorite child. You may have, a, like, two or three kids, and you maybe say the middle one is your personal favorite, but you don't spend enough time with the oldest and the youngest. And you have to kind of think about how does it feel from the other two's perspective of seeing you spend the most time with that child or saying to that final child, whoever, oh, we're tired. Like, you were the last one. You were really supposed to be here. You're kind of, not like the mistake, but like, because they've had like so much time. Hold on, my dog. Um, Because they've had like so much time like bringing up the other two and if someone you know an accidental pregnancy and everything but we accept the kid and everything and they don't always have the biggest time for that child just think about how much that's going to um possibly hurt that that child or even if you're paying attention to one and you kind of say screw the other so of course yes they're going to feel jealous and you know misunderstood they're gonna lash out a lot more than you know when all of us when we were freaking teenagers and we lashed out at our parents for some freaking reason because yes sometimes our parents got on our nerves and sometimes we still even do it now when we're adults um but Girl, you ain't have the right to go ahead and kill her. I mean, damn, like, you that jealous? And then you get even more, and then you, 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 you know, your little despair-ish, like, went from yourself to freaking Imari, and she was so precious and pure and innocent, and then her and What's-Her-Face are at the freaking restaurant talking, and she's like, yeah, you know, when I get older, I'm gonna look like my mom, so I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, big old timeout red flag right there. Put that down in the play, but, like, mm. Because something told me, I was like, because he kind of said no to her. And she went, I was like, oh, shit, here we go. I was like, here comes the temptation of, like, is she? Oh, my God. But, yeah, um, Fudidu, you crazy. <laughs> you, uh, oh, shit, <laughs> you a crazy bitch. So, you know, hey, if they had merch of her, I probably will buy it. I mean, because she, you know, when you look at her, you know, she's like, damn, you're, like, so fucking precious and cute and adorable. But you don't think it, like, especially when you look at her and behind that cute little smile is someone who is very ridiculously, like, pure, 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 sadistic, pure evil. And you just think, nah, nah, like, they're just precious as fuck. But no, this girl has, like, fucked her way over through, like, everything. And honestly, she's like, she doesn't care. I mean, oh God, yeah. How the heck we gonna end this show? <laughs> That's all I need to know. How you gonna end this show? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Tuesday for the finale. Bye, guys.